Hi there, it's Ruth Backlin from Energy Work Smile Fashion Release. A um, little contemplative this afternoon. Um, I was thinking about how sometimes we tend to delay things that we know we should do because we can't really make up our mind or maybe there's some fear involved or maybe we just don't know any better. And so sometimes making decisions is really the hardest thing that we can do and it's really that very first step in making a decision, that is the most important step. So if you think about this little light I have here, and this is probably why I thought about talking about this today is, I noticed how high this very big step is. And if I'm if I'm working towards something, if I'm worried about my health, if I'm, I'm thinking about some decisions I wanna make in my business or career path, or should I, you know, what, what class I should take next, um, you know, what decision that I need to make? Is it a big decision? I tend to spend a lot of time in this range here trying to decide, is this really the right thing for me or not? And that's the hardest step. A lot of times there's a lot of fear involved, especially if it involves my health or my career, things of that nature. So sometimes that first step is really the, the biggest one and the hardest one. But once you start making the steps in the direction that you really want to go, those steps get a little easier as you go up and up and up and up and up towards your goal. So that's what it really reminded me of today. And so I was thinking about, you know, from a health perspective, how long it took me to get back on a healthy track. Um, you know, I'm still overweight. I've been overweight for a long period of time. Um, used to be a fitness coach and back into coaching again. Um, but it took me a long time to decide what I wanted to do, really be committed to doing it. And now those steps are, are moving forward and have been for many, many months um, as I continue to make progress in my health. The same with the career choice. Um, I worked for a large insurance company for almost 24 years um, while doing myofascial release for almost the last decade. And it took me a long time to make decisions to cut back on my full-time employment um, and take that big jump into um, doing my business full-time and taking care of people, helping people full-time, even knowing that that was my passion and that's where I was supposed to be, it still took me a long time to make that big jump. So I probably made a baby step about three years ago when I went part-time, and now that I'm full-time, Looking back, I keep thinking, why did I wait so long? Why didn't I seek some help with um, some folks, you know, sooner than I did, you know, from a business perspective? Um, and then same thing with my health. Um, you know, years ago, I had a lot of issues with my back, my neck, my hips, my shoulders. I mean, I, I really felt like I was falling apart. I was getting to a point where I could barely walk my dogs because my hips and my back hurt so bad. And I had many, many rounds of therapy. I had seen many doctors, lots of injections, lots of different treatment modalities, and nothing really worked for me. And it finally took me committing to a path, which was myofascial release, um, because that's where I actually found the most success in my own personal ailments. And once I took that leap, again, it took me quite a while to get there, but once I did, I got my life back basically. Um, you know, where I couldn't walk my dogs for a few blocks, you know, now I'm hauling 85, 90 pound canoes on my back for, um, you know, half a mile to a mile. I could be doing it for hours on end. So um, totally changed my life on on how I wanted to, to live it. And I wasn't gonna be stuck in chronic pain anymore. Um, does that mean I never have pain? No, because guess what? I keep living and doing in my life. So I need to keep stretching and I get treated just like um, other therapists get treated. We have to take care of ourselves. And so, but it took me a long time to get there and I'm glad I did. So I know those of you who are on the fence in your career choices, on the fence in your health choices, your fitness, your nutrition, um, taking care of your chronic pain issues or acute pain issues. Um, sometimes it takes us a long time to get there don't wait too long. You don't want to miss out on a lot of good stuff. So um, if there's anything that you're struggling with and you're concerned about a timing perspective, give me a shout out. We can just chat and see what's right for you um, and what direction you might want to go because I've tried a lot of different things. I've done a lot of things wrong. I've done a lot of things right. And um, you can gain from my experience. So um, feel free to give me a chat. Um, reach out to me in Messenger or comment below. 
and we'll go from there.